In this video, I would like to try this example from our current book chapter, chapter number six. And uh, just to make a few notes here, uh, we have uh, all familiar input function with user prompt. We're getting, uh, we would like to get a number from the user and we'll be converting it to an integer. I will increase the font a little bit to make it more visible. And we're going to store it in a variable named num or number. Uh, let's actually change it to a number. I think that would be a better um, a name for a variable in my example. And um, uh, this is our first um, encounter of an if statement in our uh, weekly uh, sessions. Um, it's using a condition which is testing whether the number is positive. Basically, uh, the number uh, is greater than zero. This condition returns uh, either true or false. And uh, the if statement uh, requires that you include a column uh, in the end of the at the end of this line using the if statement syntax, and then. Uh, on the next line, we have a print function call, and uh, it is indented uh, by some white space right here uh, by space characters. Um, the very common level of indentation is four spaces like I have over here. Uh, the if statement controls whether this print statement executes or not. If the condition is false, which by the way, in our case, depends on what user types um, on the keyboard. So if the condition is false, then the print statement never executes. Otherwise it will be executed. So uh, here um, we need to be aware of which part of the code belongs to the if statement and, uh, and what part of the program um, is uh, controlled uh, by this if statement. And um, in Python, uh, the idea is that it's being controlled by the indentation of, uh, you know, that includes uh, some spaces or tabs. I almost uh, exclusively always use spaces and I don't like tab characters in my source code. Uh, so um, uh, we can uh, basically start with this example and try running it first before continue with uh, with our further experimentation. So like I said, I would like to try using a uh, command window <clears throat> to, run, to run my program, uh, programs in this series. Uh, so what I'd like to do is just basically find my command prompt. You can see it's already sitting right here, but if you don't see it, then you can just type cmd to search for it it should be showing up you know pretty quickly on the list of matches if you do a search for it and you uh, run it so it opens like this uh, so i'll um, also uh, uh, resize this window a little bit to, to to keep everything visible and for the sake of simplicity i will switch to this location so i can type my command cd uh, space and just you can you can copy it from the address bar by hitting right click copy if you'd like or control c and then just simply right clicking in this window <clears throat> and it will uh, it will paste uh, the text that you copied from the address bar. So CD stands for change directory. So I would like to use this directory for my, um, you know, for, for running my code. And here I can use uh, CLS to clear screen. CLS stands for clear, uh, clear screen um, in this environment. And so basically I will be running this, uh, this program named uh, week five examples, right? So I can, you know, this way I can actually drag and drop it right here and I don't have to use the, the entire path. I can just adjust it like this and I can hit enter. You can see it just starts running. Okay, and uh, yeah, enter a number. So let's try uh, a positive number first, like 
five over here and says that's a positive number press any key to exit okay so everything runs as expected and this is uh, my code that we just executed <clears throat> 